Go. From the time that I went in the house to get my marker to right now, which is only about a minute, my little shadow has moved from here to here, and you don't know what I'm talking about right now, but we will illustrate. Over here, we have a plumb bob hanging from our ramada with a ping pong ball on it. The ping pong ball is making that shadow on that line. Our whole purpose of all this setup, what we're going to wind up with, was, is finding out what true north is. We're at this spot. Not magnetic north, not where the sun is at noon, because solar noon and our clock noon are different slightly, and they change through the year. The way this, ha the way this works is, as the sun travels a little bit higher now, because it's before noon, it's about 10.30, It'll get higher and then it'll sweep down. That'll make our shadow have a dip if we track it about every 10 minutes and put a little spot there. Our shadow will take a curve in towards this plumb bob and then back out. Nice even curve. Once we get that curve, now we can draw a regular circle from that midpoint intersecting that other curve in two places. That will give us the exact, and then divide that in half, we'll have the exact point that's at true north. Based on, you know, sun, earth, orbital mechanics, all that kind of stuff. Nothing to do with the clock or anything. So, because we have to have that true north line in order to line this tracker up. Wherever that tracker is set, it's got to be set on true north. And then, just the 24 hour a day thing does all the rest of the work.